I read both books and passed them along to my cousin so that he'd kind of get used to the books. And um, I basically felt what I liked out of the books is that you kind of made it relevant for us. It wasn't that you were just talking, dropping out, you were just talking to us. It was more that you were talking with us, like you've been through what we're going through. And you know the kind of things we're going to experience in life. And I like that you were in there talking to the kids and talking to the young men, basically, about the stuff that we need to hear because we don't always have somebody to let us know that kind of information. I learned a lot from the book. I mean, I knew a little bit before. The book kind of brought my life and made me want to go do research for myself. Yeah, uh, I read the book Hustle and Win, and I'm about to start rap Race and Revolution. But overall, I think the book kind of let everybody that didn't know what really goes on in the hood let them know. Right. A lot of people see the media, and it's all blown out of proportion. Like I've been shot at, I've sold drugs, my cousin got shot 11 times and died in front of me. You hear dudes on the radio talking about it, going to their Malibu beach house. Right. It's like, dude, it's like stop lying. But overall, that book really opened up my eyes. I've stopped doing everything that I was doing. Now that I get everything that I see from different perspectives. Right. Now that I don't have to make the same mistakes as I sit back. And as I talked about in the book, there are the people watching. And I've sat back and I've actually watched people do certain dumb things that could have easily been avoided. Just by going by the simple steps that you put in that book. You break a lot of things down, you simplify a lot of things. You don't talk about all that BS nobody wants to hear. You get straight to the point and it's all for our benefit. It's not like you're doing this to sell books or to make money. You're doing this to help everybody out. And I agree, I agree with that. I mean, there's too many people out here that there's too many people out here that either live it or know what's going on in this world. And you can't just know of it and just live it. You gotta know how to get out of that. I mean, most guys, and I know this in the game, they're in the game for money. And most of them don't. If they there for a lifetime, then they know what they're going to expect. But it's the young cats that try to get into it because they don't know the truth in it because they hear it in the music. So all they know is the basics and, and the glorification of it. And we got to step up and start making a move in, the, in our world because, I mean, they're not going to change it for us. So we're the only people that can change this world. So us young cats got to step in and take their hat. I mean, the elders can only do so much, and they starting to move on because they're afraid of us. Right. So we got to take that crown, and we got to start being the nation builders and the, and the change that we want to see in our people. That's right. How old are you, homie? I'm 16 years old. All right. How old are you? I'm 15. That's a beautiful thing. And, uh, and uh, where y'all from originally? Uh, well, I'm from Dayton, Ohio, but I uh, grew up in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Tell, what's, what's, tell, tell me a little bit about Dayton. Uh, well, Dayton, Ohio, I mean... I kind of look at Dayton like, I'm kind of glad I got away from there because I see my big brothers that's in their 20s and they stuck there. Because you will get stuck there. And I see the cats that, that do the little dirt or whatever and they get addicted to that. They get addicted to that fast money like you don't want nothing else. What's it's not, not no good gonna come, come from that. What's your thoughts? <laughs> What's your uh, thoughts? My thoughts on Dayton is, it's a battle. You can live it, you can lie about it. Like we, I've actually like, like he was saying before, everybody that's in the gang is in the gang for a reason. Like, when I did gang bang, and they'd be like, oh, well, why do you why do you run with so-and-so? It's like, for money. Right. It's like, well, that's just stupid. You know how it started. I'm like, dude, I'm making $2,000 a month. Oh, just laying around, though. Laying in my girlfriend's house, making $2,000 a month. Right. Like, so how, how can you do something better than what I'm doing? Right. You ain't doing nothing better than what I'm doing. You going out, chilling with your friends, but at the same time, you're stuck in poverty. Right. Really opened up my eyes, but Dayton, it's a lot of local rappers that I that I know that I, I, that I hung out with. They're doing 15 year bids. Right. Everybody's a dope boy. Everybody, you gotta watch watch who you with. Just hope you survive. That's it. Yeah, I mean that's the best way to put it, man. It's a cold world out here, and we, we gotta start standing up. That's why, I like Supreme, I like being around you just to see that you came from where we come from. You feel me? And that you made it out. There's so many people that don't make it out. It's, it's, it's so many, so many people that's that's old fiends now. I was on the Dakota bus like a couple weeks ago, talking to some old dude. He was drunk, smelled like straight liquor, and he started dropping knowledge on me, talking about the third eye and stuff. Right. But he an old alcoholic exactly. because of stuff that moves that he made when he was young. Exactly. But at the same time, the only, what I like about being around you is that you try to better us. Right. Like I, I have older cousins, older uncles, everybody. My, I call my uncle my father. He was one of the big, like, I can say his name to this day. Like, oh, well, who's your dad? I'd be like, so-and-so. They'd be like, what? Looking at me like I'm stupid. Right. But at the same time, he, he's, he's just like how you are. He'll let you know, well, this, 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 this is what happens. This is how it's going to turn out for you.
he can tell you the beginning, the middle, and the end before it happens. Right. And then when it does happen, you have yourself to blame. Because he made it and out. If he tells you, if he, if he, if I, if he sat down and told me, like, dude, you're gonna go to jail. All the money you make, you're gonna, pay, you're gonna be paying for a lawyer. It ain't, it ain't gonna pay off. And I'm just like, whatever, man. I'm about to go out. I'm about to go party. I'm about to go do what I'm gonna do. And it turned out bad for me. It's not like I can be like, Dad, come get me. Or I'm sorry, I can't. Do, I can do, ain't no apology if, you, if somebody tell you something ahead of time. So you can take the useful information they're giving you and use it, or you can just blow it all off. Everybody angry is them blowing it all off, facing a murder charge, ten or at least a ten years. Yeah, that's how it is. In reality, if you live for now, you might not see tomorrow. If you live for tomorrow, today go quick. You know what I mean, you always gotta plan for the future. Always, always plan that next move. If so many cats is just, just living life. Don't just live life. Don't just, don't just live in life. Actually, live your life and take it serious. Exactly. Right, don't don't plan for you. Plan for your kids. And pay attention. And I, I don't care who you are, what you do. You read this book. You you let everybody know. You read this book right here. You let everybody know. Like I'm being so serious. I've had I want to say 12, 12 homies die in the past year. I'm talking about dudes that were super close to me. They were shooting last night. They were shooting last yeah, night. Heard. Helicopters everywhere. Like it's drama. right. We, That's we, nonsense. That's unnecessary. They was out here over a little drama. Right. Standing a couple little, feet away. Was what was that? What was it? Right. A couple feet, couple feet away, right? Yeah, a couple feet away from me. And I see it was like, like, matter of fact, you was right behind me. And you was like, yeah, man, it's getting hot. Yeah, and then I'm like, yo, right know. behind you. And I was like, yo, turn around. Exactly. Because yeah. I'm like, and that, it's, it's, Cass is out here at the celebration. But Juneteenth, they don't know why they out here. So they come here. Yo, but you know, it's exactly deep. Every what? Juneteenth I've been to, every Juneteenth in every city I've been to is a shoot. Every exactly. city. That's crazy. Because this is what I'm saying, though. Look, if you're a real gangster, I like I know, I know all heads that's making more money than you can imagine. Like, more money than you can imagine. I'm telling you this now. You go out fighting with dudes, shooting, people got their families out here, man. Like that that's no laughing matter. Like I know OGs that will literally snatch right, you I up had, and put a gun in your mouth. Like don't disrespect people. Right, man. see that's the old code. You know what I mean? You don't shoot around no women and, and that, children. That's the thing though. That, that's why I like the good fellas and all that, they got they got loyalty, they got honor, and they got respect. That's a real right. situation. Got that these days. It's like our grandfather, my, well, our great grandfather, that's how he taught us. We didn't grow up, when we grew up here, was out here in the streets, but we grew up under him. And exactly. he, he was an OG, like this he used to own Kool Aid joints. Irrelevant. So this he always dropped knowledge on us when we was growing up. So we we saw what the cast that was around us was doing, but we knew what we were supposed to do. Right. And that's what kept our mind right. That's that's why we still alive, man. man I don't have people shooting me, and I know cast is not here no more. Right. Right. Just like how, like you know, what I mean, I got the, I, I I evacuated my family just because I could smell. I could smell exactly. it like I could smell the gunfire about to erupt. Exactly. I knew it was about to shoot. Yesterday when they started fighting, I ran over here like, are y'all safe? Are y'all right. cool? Because right. I was reading the body language and I knew what was going on. Like, right. You saw, you saw the cats start. They stopped walking around by themselves and joined the celebration and started clicking up. Right. And they were standing on the side like this. They just right. looking because they was waiting for something to happen. Right. And, and when you see so many people just sitting around and you watching their body language, you know that they waiting for violence, then violence is going to happen. But you know what's so deep too, man? So like. Happen. We, we so screwed up right now in the game, like, without no guidance, that people is actually running towards gunfire right now. When exactly. they were shooting, there was little girls running to the shoot. Exactly. Right, I had to grab a couple little girls. Yeah, I, I heard you grab somebody by the ponytail. Exactly. What the hell you doing? I heard you that. You they fighting. I know they fighting. Then the dude that, go ahead, and then the, wait, wait, but then the dude that was, um, that was trying to fight, like, like, the game is so twisted right now, like, there's some old rules, some basic things that we don't even know no more, like, the dude was trying to fight with his pants sagging. I don't exactly. got no problem with pants well, second, but you can't you fight with your pants. Right. Like and he yeah, fell straight, straight to the ground. He got the mess beat he, out of he, exactly. he, Right. And that's why dude got all senses about it. That's another problem that's wrong with us. Too many males is out here in the world claiming gangster and thug and all of this, and y'all sensitive. Because y'all don't understand that that quick to be angry stuff is a feminine quality. Right. Y'all really was trying to like females. We was walking out here yesterday, and dude had his flag hanging from the right. I'm like, yo, you blooded? He like, what? I'm like, are you bloody? Uh huh. No, no, I'm not bloody. Like, exactly. touch your flag, I'm gonna fracture your face. Exactly. Right. That's what? what they're telling like, like, <laughs> hey, it's people out here that's associated with that, so don't. Right. Don't like, come yeah. out here trying to look right. like a gangster. Like, you can look at me. You. you can look. You will never be able to tell I didn't did the stuff that I done. But right. At the same exactly, time, man, I learned from gotta, everything that I done did. Learn and move on and teach. And teach, teach. man. That's it. Lead by example. That's it, homie. All right, let's end it there. Peace. Thanks.